Dr. Jonathan Patz is here now, professor and director of the Global Health Institute at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Thank you for being here. Pleasure. We've been talking a lot at this meeting about climate change as it relates to health. Could you tell us why do you think it is one of the most pressing public health problems now? Well, when you think about the physical threats of climate change, these are uh, temperature rising, sea level rising, and extremes of the water cycle, which brings more severe droughts, floods, and fires. Those affect, th they have hazardous exposures through many pathways, heat waves, air quality, infectious diseases, especially uh, insect vector-borne diseases, waterborne diseases. So these many pathways, each with climate-sensitive health outcomes, make this really the biggest public health disaster and crisis that we faced. So I, this is why I've been studying this for 20 years. There are so many different tentacles that I think people don't really think about. Can you talk about planetary health as it connects to climate change? Well, the term planetary health really tries to bring together the issues of climate change and ecological uh, collapse. And, and uh, using our natural resources in an unsustainable way. And the term planetary health really is more a matter of a call to action, a uh, call of urgency, that we're talking not just about diseases and problems, specific problems, but really civilization collapse. And that's the term planetary health. Uh, nothing, nothing special about it, I think, is other than a call to action, that things are really getting urgent. Uh, and at the global scale. When you talk about this urgency, the need to do something, and you think about some of the climate solutions that have been put forth, which do you think need immediate attention? Well, I think that when you look at um, the rates of increase in chronic disease, um, especially obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and respiratory and cardiac issues related to, to air pollution, uh, we have a golden opportunity here. For example, look at the energy sector. If we were to clean the energy sector, seven million people die prematurely every year from air pollution. According to the World Bank, air pollution costs the global economy more than five trillion dollars a year. So, a golden opportunity to get to clean energy and you save lives. When you think about meetings like this, people talk about climate change and maybe don't think about how it impacts you and I, how it impacts people directly. Mm -hmm. How important is it to talk about it from that perspective at meetings like this? It, it's extremely important, but it's important outside of meetings like this because I, I have to tell you, just yesterday I gave a TEDx talk and it was really nice that I was able to do that. People came up to me afterwards and said, they hadn't realized that climate change is a health issue. And for those of us who have been studying this for such a long time, it seems so obvious, but really the general public needs to know that climate change is more than just about polar bears. You know, the real face of climate change is refugee camps, children with malnutrition and infectious diseases, asthma, you know, with the increase of ragweed pollen because of more CO2 and more warming. These are. This needs to be put out to the public that they have to recognize climate change is about our health. And confronting climate change offers, I think, the greatest public health opportunity of our lifetimes, and we can't afford not to confront it. We're so glad you're a champion for this because it's going to make a difference and hopefully save lives. Dr. Pates, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.